Hello friends, this video on changes around us part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Melting of ice cream. So if you take ice cream which is supposedly very cold and it is kept in refrigerator. Now if you take it outside and keep it at normal room temperature for some time or you keep it under the sun, what happens it starts to melt. So basically earlier it was like in the solid form and then it starts when it starts melting it get it starts getting converted to liquid form. So this is definitely a change but this is a reversible change. So when you put it when it exposes it to high temperature that time it starts melting but again if you cool it then it will again get back to its solid form. So that way it is a reversible change. Now let us look at something more interesting. So have you ever observed uh, the wheel? How does the wheel look like? So if you carefully observe the wheel, you will see that there is a metal rim on the wheel. So this is the metal rim. And the surprising fact is that the size of this metal rim is slightly smaller than the size of the wheel. So the wheel is bigger in size and this metal rim is smaller in size. Then the question is how does this metal rim fit into the wheel? So here we do something interesting. Now what we do is we heat this rim. Now once the rim is heated, now heat often results in expansion. That is the that particular substance tends to expand. It becomes bigger in size. So it, it gets expanded. It occupies more space. So when you heat it, let's say this was the original size of the rim. When you heat it, it expands and it becomes slightly bigger in size. Now when it becomes slightly bigger in size what you do you fit it into the wheel but now it is slightly loose on the wheel. So what you do now you cool it. So when once it is cooled what happens contraction that is it tends to contract it tends to like come I mean, just the opposite of expansion. In expansion it was becoming bigger in contraction it is going to be smaller. So when you contract it then what happens? This was the bigger size. Now it again contracts back to a smaller size. So in this case what happens? It will tightly fit on the wheel. So this concept of expansion and contraction is often used in a lot of places because especially to fit machinery parts, different parts of the machine so that they exactly fit with each other. So these concepts are often used that you heat a substance so it expands, you cool a substance, it contracts. So that's the concept of contraction and expansion. In fact, if you have ever seen, if you try to look at the doors of your houses, you'll see that a small gap is maintained at the bottom. Do you know why? Because during summer seasons, the temperature is like high. So what happens sometimes the material of the door expands. And as a result, that small space which is being provided at the bottom that gets utilized. Otherwise, if you do not leave any space, what will happen? The door will expand, but since there is no space, so that there are chances that the door might get bent. So that, that way, this concept of expansion and contraction is like, it, it's a beautiful concept and it is useful in a lot of scenarios. Now, based on all these examples which we have discussed so far, what did we conclude? What causes change? Now, change can be caused by multiple factors. It can be caused by heating. When you heat a substance, the substance expands. That is a change. When you heat a substance, sometimes uh, liquid water gets converted to water vapor. That is again a change. Mixing with other substance. When you mix salt with water, you get a salt solution, which is again a new, uh, which is again a change. So here, mixing of substances resulted in change. Cooling. For example, uh, you take some water, put it into the freezer. What happens? It becomes ice. So that's again a change and it happened due to cooling. Similarly, you have a molten ice cream. Put it into the refrigerator. Cool it. It, it solidifies. So these changes are due to cooling. Altering shape or size or appearance. For example, when you uh, roll a chapati using the roller. So what are you doing? You are basically giving a shape to the dough. So since it results in a change in shape, so that is also a change. When you cut a piece of paper, the size of the paper changes. The shape of the paper changes. That is also a change. When you take a white sheet of paper, which was initially white, and you 
make a picture over it so there is a change in the appearance so that is also a change so a change can happen due to a lot of different factors and i hope that all these examples which have which we have discussed so far would have given you an idea about what is change and which type of changes are reversible and which ones are irreversible thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.